Today, we're making the perfect, scientifically verifiable tier list for the starting units in Super Auto Pets on Beta Patch version 15. First up, the duck. Recently nerfed, it is now by far the biggest pile of bird shit ever. It's a measly 1-2 and only gives 1 HP to shop pets when sold. 1. I can confidently say this is the worst tier 1 unit in the game, and it can get the duck out of here. F. Next. The pig, having a very weird stat line of 3-1, and being countered heavily by mosquitoes and crickets, but its high attack does make it one of the only starting units that can trade evenly with the fish. It also does have a decent perk, giving you one extra gold when sold, but the biggest drawback of all is it scales utterly horribly, and is seemingly never useful unless you buy it and sell it early. So this piggy can wee 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 all the way home to the D tier. Next, we have the beaver, a average shedded 2-2 with the effect give plus one health to two random friends when sold. His stats are very average, losing a trade to the ant and fish, and only beating the otter and cricket. While his sell effect can combo well with the dog and the dragon in the later stages of the game, the fact you have to sell him early to be any benefit, and the fact he has no benefit to scaling him, as his ability only works when sold, and absolutely not worth investing in to sell, makes him one of the weaker starting units. Have fun building your dams in the D tier. Next, the Cricket, a 1-2 unit that spawns a 1-1 zombie when it dies. This unit can be incredibly strong early when paired with a horse, making it very viable if you're also offered a bunch of horses. On its own, however, it's pretty terrible, only trading well with the Otter and Pig. And it scales horribly, gaining only one stat point per level on the Zombie Cricket, making it one of the worst pets to scale early. However, considering how strong it can be when comboed with the horse, and potentially the Turkey late game, it can chirp its way into the C tier. Then we have the horse. Recently buffed to a 2-1 instead of a 1-1, this actually helped it a lot, making it trade evenly with many more pets in the early game. Its ability to give seven pets plus one attack until the end of battle makes it skill decently well and combo well with other pets like the deer, cricket, fly, spider, and so on. The drawback being, it's literally completely countered by this item called garlic, rendering it useless against many mid to late game builds. And if it doesn't pop off early, it usually doesn't pop off at all. So this little pony can gallop all the way to the C tier. Now it's time for the Mosquito, an average statted 2-2 unit with the interesting ability to deal one damage to one random enemy, scaling the amount of enemies hit as it levels up. Early game, this ability can absolutely destroy entire teams, killing ants, pigs, and a lot of times, all you need is that one extra damage to win around. However, it's RNG, so sometimes it's literally a completely useless ability. But it does scale well, especially into the late game, as popping some melons never hurt nobody. Well, except for the enemy team, of course. Its ability to be highly effective in the late game and its decent strength in the early game makes this a solid pet to choose. And going by this, it can suck all the blood it wants in the B tier. However, considering the fact that mosquitoes are mostly responsible for spreading malaria, indirectly causing the most deaths in all of human history, I'm gonna have to give it an F for being just a really bad pet. So you can go fuck yourself, mosquitoes. I don't like you. Fuck mosquitoes. I can think we can all agree that fuck mosquitoes know your fucking place, trash. Now, for one of my favorites, the otter. Not only are they adorable, they're one of the best team players in the game. Its stats are just a measly one too, but its ability to give a random pet plus one plus one is easily one of the best scaling abilities in the game, letting you make some incredibly strong units early that crush the enemy team. It's also a great buy and sell later if you have the extra gold, as getting a plus one plus one is always welcome. The best part is when it turns level two, and then each time you buy an otter, it gives plus two plus two, which is insane value, making this one of the strongest pets early. However, the RNG can be annoying, so it's best used when you only have one other pet that you want to scale early. Then buff it with the otter and slap some garlic on them. There, and then you have an unstoppable killing machine. And for that, it's earned the otter a cozy little spot in the A tier. Getting down to the final two pets, we have the ant, considered by many as the strongest tier one. A 2-1 with a faint effect, give a random friendly pet plus two plus one, is incredibly strong. Trading evenly with most pets and then giving off a strong faint effect make it a great one-two punch. It is weak against mosquitoes and crickets as its health is only one and is abused by their effects. However, even if it trades poorly, its strong effect makes sure you always get some decent value for it. Even scaling in the late game, as giving a unit plus 4 plus 2, or even at level 3 giving a plus 6 plus 3, is always strong. Also, it combos with the pill, giving its faint effect permanently instead of selling. All of these things make the ant one of the best pets in the game, period. The fact that it's always so consistently good no matter what happens makes this a pet worthy of its spot 
in the S tier. Finally, we have the fish, the best unit in the game, the unstoppable monster godfish. Not only does it have the best stats of any tier one unit at a 2-3, its ability is the strongest too, making it so strong that one of the top meta builds is to literally just hard roll for fishes until you get a level three. For more about that, check out my other video, link in the description. The ability to literally buff your entire team with plus one, plus one on level up and plus two, plus two on the next level up is truly insane. That's a plus four, plus four in value on top of its already best in-game early stats, making a great target for early food and otter buff, as it's always a great pet to keep around until the late game. Not only is it good by itself as just a 2-3, it's good to build an entire team around. The fish can truly do it all, and it can do it pretty damn well. This makes it the uncontested king of tier 1 pets. Thanks for watching, feel free to leave your opinions in the comments, and okay bye!